Good evening, chaps and chapettes. Rogger here, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. Last time, we had to deal with Blondie again. That was entertaining. Sarcasm. Hashtag. Etc. So, now we've finally got the secret door to lab open, let's go through and find out exactly what Captain Kirk's been getting up to in his retirement. Ooh, cutscene. What have we got? Okay. We've apparently got a special effects budget. He's working for Industrial Light and Magic on the side. Weird. What? Well, that happened. Okay, well, we got round here then. Let's see. Oh, handy dandy diary. Look like a doctor's journal. Will you read the file? Yep. See to unleash any kind of power. The real task is keeping the power under control. Actually. Yep, that's that's quite true. Uh, the improvement of the initialiser ignition device has enhanced energy efficiency to the maximum. Okay, despite that progress, we've been unable to advance the development of the stabiliser safety valve since the accident that happened three years ago. The third energy theory will surely alter human history drastically. As long as there is an uncertain element regarding the control of this power, even if it's only 0.1% of a probability, my work would be nothing but a terrible failure. The restraining power of the stabiliser we used in tonight's experiment was insufficient. The area estimated by the excess energy is estimated to be a radius of 3,300 feet. The result of tonight's experiment may please the military people in a sense. The giant creatures that emerged just after the experiment has given me much inspiration. The most important thing to do right now is to leave here safely. As soon as I finish analysing the data, I'll evacuate via the bottom floor. Hmm. Looks like my crap impression last time was actually kind of prophetic. And I'm presuming that's Dr Kirk as well, but... Sorry, as cool as it is, no military guy is going to be interested by it. By the way, I can summon dinosaurs. I mean, they'd be like sort of interesting just saw that little boy sort of, really, can you? But other than that, you know, in the actual sort of their actual flipping professionals, they're just going to be like, what the hell is wrong with it, man? Actually, these are uh, A and L. Oh, Joanna can't drop stuff. Oh, screw it. It's going to at least knock shit out. What have we got here? We've apparently got something from a submarine. Okay. We've got computer gubbins knocking around. Ah, shelf. Nothing on the shelf. Anything behind the shelf? And again, recycle Resident Evil sound effects. Fair enough. Ooh. These were, ah. Shotgun stocks. Reloading time is better. Yeah, because Gordon Bennett, these weapons that she's coming with are absolutely rubbish. I mean, seriously, what's the like? It's like it was like bang, one, two, three, four, bang. It was something, oh, something along those lines. Anyway, it was not exactly the most efficient gun in the world. Neither was the. What's this? I see glowing lights. Securely sealed by Chevrolet Electronic Locks. So what have we got here then? Dr. Kirk's person turned it. He used to release the emergency evacuation hatch. Okay, fine. I'm still waiting for something. Hmm. Okay, well, there seems to be nothing here, and the dock certainly isn't here, so guess I'll toddle on back if I can get through there. No, no, I can't. Uh, I'll leave those for later. Go over. Has my commanding officer just hung around outside this entire time? Apparently he has. He's not here. Why? This operation is taking way too long already. Warning. The emergency system has been activated. The emergency lockdown is broken. That tripped off the security system. That fool. What's your status, Regina? I'm reading an emergency lockdown in your section. Yeah, we're up a certain creek without a certain inside. paddle. Must have it off. We didn't touch anything. Okay, I've noticed this earlier. The background music is really loud. I'll see what I can do. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gail. We'll find a way outside. Yeah, one second. 
There we are. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so now, logically speaking, this should come into play. Can we operate the circuit panel? Yes, yes I would. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, let's have a little look. See, am I supposed to play freaking tubes with this again? Oh dear. Okay, um. Is that right? Okay, maybe. Is that it? I'm sorry. See if that's reset it, hopefully. Um, let's try this. Wow, that was that was just a lot of faffing, really. The emergency lockdown has been bypassed. You have ten minutes until this section is sealed off. Get Swarovski then. We'd better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great, but the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to make it through there. Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. Brilliant plan, fearless leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break through there. If we did? Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother system. Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. We'll be trapped? I know. You just have to trust me. I don't. Fine. What about you, Eugene? Make your choice. Hmm. Let's have a thing. By the sounds of it, Gales would involve more gunplay. But that sound, Barista sounds too easy. You know what? Screw it. Add a little. Add a little thought ski, but frankly, you know what? If this is more straightforward, these puzzles are actually starting to run. I mean, I know I'm, I'm getting lucky. I'm getting very lucky with at least two or three of them, but frankly, I'm getting a bit tired of the sodding things, so let's just go for breaking through. Because how am I doing for ammunition? See, I'm, look, I can see I've got the sleep darts, so if I'm just escaping, I'll just dart them and run past. Yes, yes, I will. I think what I'll do is I'll overwrite the first save. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's lock and load. Actually, I'll just see if I might just be able to run past the buggers. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do I even need to do that with them? Actually, yeah, I do. Still, I do. <laughs> Come on, Laurel and Hardy.
Oh, come on, a darted you, for God's sake. This is about to be locked down, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so they were both side by side, there was no way I was going to be able to jink and drive. Snooze you lose, buddy. Oh, seriously, for raptors, they are really slow. Oh, whoops. Sorry, punched the mic there for a second. What the hell's this? Oh, let me guess, the elevators wouldn't frickin' work. No, oh, damn. Oh, you son of a bitch. No way for carrying materials, okay. Cutscene again. Now oh, it's this room. Did I ever go in that door? I don't think I did. Gale. You're a lucky guy, Doc. Oh, that was easy. So this must be the elusive Dr. Kirk. Yeah, gave us quite a run for our money. You get around, don't you? Mr. Shatner. Rat. You got this whole island set up as your little maze. Well, I am glad I kept you entertained, tough guy. Shut up. I'm surprised they sent someone after me. I had heard they reported me as deceased. If that's the way you want it, I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? Relax, Agent. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? No. But no, I it is not. But I before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. <laughs> Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chopper. You can't do this! I have rights! I have a gun. According to command, your government property, pal. <laughs> to take it up with them. <laughs> Go Gale. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back? This is preposterous! Shut up. Then shoot me, idiot. You lame, flat-top, jar-headed... Shut up. Where's the communication room? Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. <laughs> go, Gale. Go, Gailey. Oh, fine. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Yeah, he's totally gonna whisker us. Okay, backtrack time. Very slow backtrack time. Thank you, unnecessary cutscenes. I could not live without you. Don't stop. 
Thinking about tomorrow, don't stop singing off key. Wait, was this the right way? Oh no. Oh, at least the pterodactyls are buggered off. It's made things a lot handier. They were actually really freaking annoying. Wait, what? Could have sworn. Is this the. I'm not going mad, have I? I must be going mad. I could have sworn that was where I came in earlier. Now there's a flip in them um, Sun Hill Hole. Maybe that small elevator's now working. Oh yeah, because now I've got the keycard. Okay. I'm genuinely turned around. There's no point going through there. Okay, I need to go back to the first floor facility, the very first one. Okay, um, do we go back? Okay, now I'm genuinely stuck. As far as I'm aware, that was the only way back. Why is there now suddenly a massive hole? One sec, let me just check that again. I can't be missing... Can't be missing something that obvious. Size elevator passageway. Wait, what? Hmm. Yeah, I could have sworn that was just where I ran through earlier, and I just, I just got there. There wasn't any of this nonsense going on here. So there's no point there, because that doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, let's try heading back down. Hmm. Just in, ki just in case, I might cut away here, because... Frankly, I'm, frankly I'm, s I'm stuck. As far as I'm aware, that was the only way out. Well, welcome back, everybody. Now that the lockdown has stopped, or we caught Dr. Kirk or whatever, the flipping lift which we did use to get here normally is now up and running, not the way we came in with Tom earlier. Go figure. Either way, doesn't matter, we're now back in the main facility, so we should, hopefully... Yeah, there we are. So, left all the way. Just... If I can get past the flipping map screen first. Oh wait, can I push this? Can I push it? I am pushing it. What do I get? Um, I get a hemostat. Although I only have bled twice, but frankly, it makes kind of kind of a lot of sense because when you, if you're being attacked by a flipping raptor, of course you're going to be. Yeah. Let's see. What have I got that I can sort out? Frankly, don't care about the slag bullet, uh, hemostat even. I will take the slag bullets. Frankly, it seems like just running around the raptors seem to do... seems to be far more effective than actually killing them. It really only seems to be a case of if there's two of them in one corridor. That really seems to be the only time it's actually worth your while to get rid of them. And even then, your weapons are so slow firing and do such little damage, you have to get them behind a frickin' um... No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go near. You need to get them behind one of those laser grids. And even then, considering the... what looks like the stun animation, continually seems to just... 
make your shots miss or just not hurt or something along those lines. Yep, there we go. Down this way. Ah, save progress. How are we doing? Okay. Even with that little cut, we should be uh, around about the right time. So, oh, let me just screw up first. Let me just see first. So that's going to two hours 32. Yeah, I'm definitely. If there is a rocket launcher thing, I definitely ain't getting it. Although, but that said, now I've caught Dr. Kurt, I've got the key, got the key card and doing the whole heliport thing. Am I nearly done? I might, I might be, but this doesn't feel like it's nearly done. But either way, that's it for this particular episode, chaps and chapettes. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a little look-see down below, see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look-see. By all means, by all means, my friends. And as always, people, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.